Marty Skrull. They're shaking up, I guess. Skrull is not. Nonetheless, the villain Marty Skrull. Back in action. He is about to go head to head. One on one, mono y mono. With the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, the leader of the Alpha Club. <coughs> the Alpha Chris Jericho. Making his way to the ring from Manchester, England. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Marty S. Skrull. Marty Skrull fighting out of Cambridge, New England. Of course, once you get in the ring with him, you're gonna have to watch out for that cross-faced chicken wing. And you're going to lock in that chicken wing is a very dangerous condition here to say the least. And Marty still uses. Of course, Chris Jericho on the other hand has the walls of Jericho or the lion tamer. And he can utilize against Marty Still. Both these two have their submission. They also both have their go-to finishers, their other moves that they can use to put away via pinfall. Uh, Marty Skrull has the front flip DD. Chris Jericho, of course, on the other hand, has the code breaker. Well, right now, Cave unglues the Chris Jericho. Last time we seen him, he knocked off KSJ. Get another big victory, he might be the next pay for you. Very very well overdue for the Chris Jericho. Jericho claims he's the GOAT, aka greatest of all time, not the farm animal. I mean, but to say that, you'd have to win a title in the UWA. Chris Jericho has not done yet. I mean, any given moment with enough victories, he could be next in line for a United States title opportunity. Hell, he can win the Universal Rumble this year and challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. Got an interesting situation of that that we'll talk about. We've got number one contendership briefcases this year. Be a fun concept. Any given moment, Chris Jericho just needs to keep picking up victories and knocks off KSJ. That's a huge victory. And now Mark rings the bell. Here we go. Shockwave match number, what is this, 16, I believe, is underway. And these two starting with a lock up here. Chris Jericho with a disrespect to Marty Skrull. And you know Marty's not happy at all about that. Jericho slides down the back, shoves him off. Right now Jericho's just outsmarting him, but Marty caught him. The villain baited him in. The villain outsmarted Jericho this time in a running knee lift from Marty Skrull. That was nicely done there from the villain. Woo -woo. Chris Jericho counters with a jawbreaker. Looking to follow up on Marty Skrull. I don't think it's happening though. No, you're not gonna out chain wrestle the villain. Even if you are Chris Jericho. And for a back elbow, Jericho blocks. Float over, neck breaker. And that does connect there for Chris. Misses the kick. Marty Skrull looking for the cross face chicken wing early. Jericho scouts it. Now Marty scouts him. Close line. Just floored Chris Jericho. And his head hit hard off the canvas there. Shoulder tackle from Chris. Jericho loves to do those shoulder tackles, man. These two right now are going at it. There's no love loss here. Oh, Jericho caught the leg right into a dragon screw. Man, this could be an instant classic here between the villain and the alpha. Send them over the ropes. These two low key have heat with each other. Now rope on DP. Something to do with the alpha club, I heard. And the last Marty still in for a cover, only a one count. The Villain Club versus the Alpha Club, elbow to the face. Oh God, and Jericho caught him with a step up in Zaguri. Chris Jericho right now in control on the Villain, Marty Skrull, and now just spears him down to the floor. Jericho now agging on the Villain, telling Marty Skrull to bring it. 
when Marty, Marty lands on his feet. I don't know if Jericho realized that. Marty sends him back into the ring. The villain now in control. Marty Skrull. Oh, now gonna bounce his face off the buckles. There's Marty. Crowd counting along with the villain. Even though Marty Skrull is a villain, the crowd sure seems to love him. Now Marty rolls over Chris Jericho. Gonna look to lock in a submission here, working on the arms. All set up for the crossface chicken wing. Jericho gets out of it quickly. He knows the damage that'll do. I went to kick and Marty Skrull moves out of the way. Caught the leg again to Jericho. Sweeps out the legs. And now, oh God, he's looking to lock in the walls of Jericho. Walls of Jericho is locked in. Chris has the walls of Jericho. He's got the walls locked in. And Marty picking the ankle there. That's smart there from Marty Skrull. Now gonna shove him off. Cause some separation, there's the villain. And Marty Skrull plants him on his head with a DET. What a move from the villain. And now if that DET wasn't enough, he's gonna set the spike in here. And front flip DET from Marty Skrull right into the cover. Marty having here one, two, Jericho kicks out at two. He didn't kick out, he rather just rolled the shoulder there. Oh God, Marty Skrull knows he has him right where he wants him. Jericho's dazed, cross face chicken wing, chicken wing. He's got him in the chicken wing. Jericho could go night night here. Cross face chicken wing is locked in by Marty Skrull. Is Jericho gonna be forced to submit here to the chicken wing? I think he passed out. I didn't see him tap, but he didn't fight out of it either. I think he passed out. Passed out, now Marty Skrull's gonna take advantage of your cover. Off and out, cold Chris Jericho, and that'll get him the victory. Jericho refused to tap, but he'll pass out instead. Marty Skrull just take the pin off of it. Smart of you, the villain, I suppose. Nevertheless, Marty Skrull picks up a victory in a hard fought match. I enjoyed that match. Actually, that was the first shockwave match so far this week that hasn't sucked. Oh, I mean, never mind. <laughs> Marty Skrull, it's the front flip DDT right there, only for a two count. What a bit of offense from Marty. And as far as I'm concerned, it was over after that cross face chicken game. Chris Jericho could have just tapped out. Didn't make a difference. Marty Skrull picks up the victory via the cross face chicken game.